Hey there, welcome back to Make a Model Monday, I'm James, and today we have a model from something that I am anxiously awaiting. Star Trek Discovery hits the airwaves later on this month, and while we only have a few pictures and a couple of trailers to go on, the modelers over at Thingiverse have already been hard at work modeling off some of the props, including the phaser. Now, I was on Thingiverse at like 1am last night, and I stumbled across this, and it only had a couple of downloads on it so far, but... When I found it, within five minutes, it was on the printer going. Nine hours later, this is what we have. And it created a really nice time lapse, which we're going to jump to now. So let's go. So this model was printed on my printer bot Simple Metal. It was printed uh, starting at 200 degrees Celsius and then brought down to 190 over the course of the first few layers just to in ensure that bed adhesion was good. The bed was heated up to about 65 degrees Celsius. It was printed in orange PLA from filaments.ca and it was printed at a layer height of 0.2 millimeters per layer. The entire print took about 9.5 to 10 hours to finish and... Uh, it was really a simple print to do. Even though some of the parts had small pieces contacting the bed, it still adhered absolutely no problem. And as soon as the print was done, they popped off without uh, any issue whatsoever. And all the pieces fit together without any type of sanding. So it popped off the bed absolutely no problem. And this is what we're left with. Three parts that lock together really, really easy. So I'm going to switch to the overhead, which is going to give you a much nicer view of me assembling this so you can get a full appreciation for the completed project. And here we have our three parts. We have the main body of the gun, we have the handle, and we have the barrel. Now the handle and the main body of the gun have this little tab to make them go together. So all you have to do is turn it so that it's properly oriented and stick it in. And there you go. The seam almost disappears. With a little bit of felling it's going to be completely gone. Now you can see the detail work on this is really, really nice. The knobs on the top turned out absolutely accurate as far as I can tell from the pictures. There's adjustment knobs here, all the little details and all the extra little lines, the knobs here, all the extra details in the handle, they all turned out really, really nice. I, I really couldn't be happier with this model. A little bit of sanding, a little bit of cleanup, and then a little bit of paint, and it's going to look pretty much screen accurate, at least from the promo material that we've had so far. The barrel itself is designed to sit inside this recessed ledge here, and it is going to require a little bit of glue to get it to actually stay in there. Um, I'm not going to glue it until after it's painted, though, because I want to be able to separate it. This part's in chrome, and the rest is in a sort of navy blue, dark blackish color um, with some gold detailing and some chrome detailing on some of the individual parts. But it's just phenomenal, the actual detail level you can see there. Even uh, even in the orange, everything really just pops on it, so the paint's really just going to be sort of icing on the cake for this one. So my plan is to hopefully have this finished by the time the show premieres, and I'll be back probably not on a Make a Model Monday, but on a separate episode to show how it turned out and uh, how I managed to get it finished off. So hopefully you enjoyed this look at this amazing model. If you want to print it off yourself, I'm tossing it in the comments below. So you can go ahead and uh, print it off. And if you do, toss me a link to a uh, picture either uh, here or on Twitter. I'd love to see how it looks. If you've got a suggestion for me for a future Make a Model Monday, toss it in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you're new here, uh, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. These come out every Monday, and then I try to put at least one or two other videos a week related to projects I'm working on. Alrighty, well, until next time, I am James, and stay creative.